In the first of our series of finance videos, this one we'll be looking at working with a chart of accounts. Okay, so we're logged in as the accountant. And if I go into my chart of accounts, we can see all of the GL accounts we've got set up in NAV. Within here, I can go and apply extra filters. So if I go on to my advanced filter and drop that on, I'll add in my limit totals too. So what I can do in here, as you can see at the moment, I've got all my balance sheet, all my income statement account showing. If I wanted to just see the balance sheet accounts only, then I can go and add a filter within there. And there's my balance sheet accounts only. What I can do is create a save view because I look at my balance sheet accounts quite often and I don't want to go in and keep applying that filter. So will that then appear in your role centre later on? It will do, yeah. I'll show you how that works. So if I do a save view as, and I can call it whatever I like. So if I say COA and I'll just call it balance sheet. And what you'll find, you've got an activity group and you'll see all these activity groups on the left hand side, I get the choice of what activity group I want to save that in. You can go and create your own activity group, um, but for the demo purposes, I'm going to put it on the home. That will do a quick restart. And you'll see now if I expand, I've got my main chart of accounts with no filters and any save views I create thereafter will go underneath. And that will just affect your role centre? Just my role centre only, nobody else. So if I go back into the chart of accounts and I want to go and put in a date filter. So this is in my limit totals too. So in here I get the date filter option and as we're working on demo data we've got 2018 data so if I put in here to the 31st of April 18 you'll see these figures have just changed. So in here, if I have a look at the net change, you'll see just the movement based on the date I've applied. What you will get in the balance will be the total balance in that account. So you can see some of these are different. So if I just drop down on that one, you'll see the balance, which is the overall, because there's been future postings in there, I get to see the balance. Mm -hmm. And that is a different total, the balance at date. It only takes you up until your ending date. So there you get okay. to see, by putting a few, um, by putting your date filters, you get to see a, a few different views there. And if you only wanted to look at certain uh, nominal codes, you could also add a filter in there as well. Absolutely, yeah. So on here, you can go and say, you might want to just look at your sales figures only. So you could go and say, I want to do from, you can see 6105 down to 69995. So your dot dot is taking you up until Okay, and now we can see just the sales. Again, you could go and do a save view on there and keep that as your sales totals. Okay, what we can also do within the chart of accounts is we can export to Excel. So if I wanted to go perhaps back to my balance sheet, for example, and I want to see that in Excel, I can go on the drop down, print and send and into Excel. I can drop that on my ribbon bar as well and that will open up and bring those details in. Okay, so there we've got our chart of accounts now in Excel. And on that export it'll bring through whatever's visible on the screen, we have columns and the actual rows. Correct. So you would want to do your filtering before you export that? Absolutely, yes. Cool, thank you.